Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. So in this video, we are going to watch the most controversial case study of Ratan Tata and Cyrus Mistry. Mistry, who was the sixth chairman of Tata Sons, who ousted from the position in October 2016. He had taken over as the chairman in 2012 after Ratan Tata announced his retirement. Tata Group Patriarch Ratan Tata had personally asked Cyrus P. Mistry to resign as chairman of Tata Sons as the board had lost faith in him. But his refusal led to the removal via majority votes. After this decision, there was a lot of uproar in the corporate world and many questions were raised which angle is right and who is wrong? So, let us understand this whole story in detail. On October 24, 2016, had personally asked Cyrus P. Mistry to resign as chairman of Tata Sons as the board had lost faith in him. But he refused. After that, the board meeting held on the same day and decided to remove Mistry from the chairman post. Seven out of nine directors of Tata Sons voted for his replacement after Farida abstained and Mistry was declared ineligible to vote as he was an interest director, stating that the decision was not taken or in haste it said the removal was the result of a chain of events that led to a growing trust and confidence deficit that had to be addressed without delay. Mystery challenged his removal, accusing the board of mismanagement and oppression minority shareholders. However, India's National Company Law Tribunal rejected his petition. After this, Mistry challenged his removal in NCLAT. In 2018, NCLAT order restored Mistry as the group's executive chairman. Tata Sons have challenged that NCLAT order in Supreme, in Supreme Court. Tata Sons have challenged that NCLAT order in Supreme Court. Further, Supreme Court stayed last month's NCLAT order reinstating Cyrus Mistry as the executive chairman of Tata Sons and restoring his directorship in the holding company as well as three group companies with a preliminary observation that the first impression of the order was not good and that the tribunal could not have given consecutional relief that had not been sought in this first place. The NCLT order dated December 18, 2019 had also set aside Tata Sun's decision to convert itself into a private company. The Supreme Court decision will, for the time being, end the uncertainty that had engulfed one of the India's most stored business group after the NCLAT order. TCS, a key group company, had postponed its board meeting that was scheduled to take place on January 9th. Mistry had, through a statement issued on Sunday, withdrawn his claim to the chairmanship of Tata Sons but had said he would vigorously press for his board seat. Ok viewers, so get set to know the reason behind the whole story. So. The very first reason is the Tata Power Wellspun deal, where the Cyrus Mystery didn't follow the protocol. 
what did i say tata par wilson deal yes in this misty did not call for a boat meeting of tata sons prior to tata par's rupees 90 billion deal with wellspun even as he sent the paper to the directors this was in contravention of article 121a of tata sons article of association tata par had announced on june 12 2016 that it would acquire wellspun in a rupees 92.49 billion deal and completed the process in september jm financial acted as the exclusive transaction advisor to tata par on the deal according to the article any matter affecting the shareholding of tata trust in the holding company need to be discussed by the board before any of the group companies decide in favor of making an investment exceeding rupees 1 billion this is particularly applicable to those decision that are not part of annual business plan such issues should have come before the board of tata sons prior to tata park company taking a decision to acquire such a project because it is tata sons that has to provide depth to finance an acquisition the order said it is pointed out that though the paper was sent to the nominee of tata trusts on tata sons board mistri did not hold any board meeting before tata par company signed the documents with respect to wellspun transaction on june 12 2016 itself oh god it is so much contended but what could be the next reason the next controversy is the tata entity docomo dispute in 2009 Entity Docomo bought a 26.5% stake in Tata Teleservices for about rupees 12,740 crores. The two agreed that if Tata Tele failed in financial and market performance, Tata's would need to give Docomo an exit by buying back shares at half the investment value or finding a buyer at higher than that. The venture stuttered and the Japanese wanted to cash out but in May 2013 Tata Tele's equity value had fallen below half the invested value and Reserve Bank of India objected to buy back under foreign exchange norms Docomo filed for arbitration and won 1.2 billion dollars award in June 2016 when Tata Sons did not pay the promised amount however Tata's under mystery continued to maintain it was bound by country's public policies and was not ready to make any illegal payments the last year has seen both sides accuse the other of behaving less than honorably with Tokomo engaging the international arbitration a month after the london court's order came through the japanese side also headed to the delhi high court to have it declared the tata must be forced to pay despite contravening rbi regulations Oh it is highly controversial so let us finally get what could be the next reason in this mystery failed to park his shareholding in Shapurji Palonji a condition he accepted while he was appointed as executive chairman of Tata Sons in 2011 saying that he could not find a way of doing it both Tata Sons and Mystery 
had agreed to the condition as part of corporate governance principle to avoid conflict of interest. Such conduct of mystery was inappropriate and created a sense of breach of trust on his part. So, here we come to know the most controversial case study of Ratan Tata and Cyrus Mystery. To get more controversial updates like this, stay tuned to this channel and don't forget to hit the like button. Come on, see you!